All right, Trish, here we are. Get my beautiful little wahini down here. Doing videos. And we're on our way up to some waterfalls, mate. We're just gonna have a gander up there, see what's going on. Yeah, praise Jesus. It might be for a fish, but for a good waterfall, eh? Trips. Been a slippery trips, look at that. Look at that ringy running away up there, right? Eh? Going back up here again, trips. More accidents happen down here than up here. Look at that ringy running away, she is. Get up, go, ringy. in that cave over there. See what's going on. We'll go and have a gang of trips. Well, I must say, it's a very shallow cave, trips. Enough for a shelter without rising waters. And uh, you might be able to have a brew up in there. These are big scales. Yeah, Here we go. Now I just. Uh, yeah, I'll ring you down a bait a hook. I think this might be the first time. <laughs> what do I do? We'll stick it to the skin. Stick it in. Hang on. It's got to take Make it. Make sure it goes through the skin, eh? Oh. So go like that. And then like that. I don't want to hook myself up. Is that right? Yeah. Something like that. A couple of bods down there. But apart from that, we've got it all to ourselves. There's my rod. It's a little uh, six foot of that thing, I think. Got a ringy washing out of hands there. <laughs> He's going out fishing. There's his pole on the back. Looks like one of those canoes, those kayak things with an outboard motor. What a good idea. Keen as mustard, mate. Right, here we go again. Second attempt. Second cast. First one went about three yards. <laughs> <laughs> well, that one went about six yards. Yes, all right. That'll do. No, I want to cast it right now. 
girl ring, he's hooking himself. <laughs> and she's wearing my jersey. Okay, let's try that again. This is uh, take three. <laughs> uh, rangy, eh? Is that right? Yeah, you got it right. There you go, Trebs. She's quite proud now, she's got to be at 10 yards out. Now there it is, Trebs, all quiet on the western front there with Ringy. A beautiful day out here, eh? It is. A few cotton balls in the sky. We must be going to dry dock to get some repairs and stuff done, I suppose. What do you think about fishing down the jetty here, Ringy? Quiet. <laughs> Very quiet. Is this a little mullet? Yes, a yellow old mullet. Oh my gosh, this is my first catch! <laughs> yeah, there you go, Trebs. Ringy's first fish, eh? Look at that. So what are we going to do? Put him back? No, no, if we can knock him on the head, that's fish bait. Really? Yeah, too right. That's fish bait. What if I just use him for fish bait and threw him back out there? Well, you want to hook him up a bit better than that. Wow! Rangy's fish. Rangy's first fish, it must be yeah, eight inches long. <laughs> <laughs> ah, bless you, my baby, eh? Look at that. Right, there's Rangy's first fish, weighing it at 128 grams. Hey, Trez, how you go? Right, oh, we're going to cruise on down to a little beach called Wainui and have a bit of a fish down there over the rocks and praise Jesus for snapper or any edible fish, eh? So we'll see you down there, it won't take long. It's a little bit windy here today, but we'll just see. It's supposed to be a nor'wester, which should be pretty much behind us. And we're going that way down the beach. There's the track. We'll see you down the beach. Trevs, how you going? Well, it's not actually a true nor'wester here, which it's supposed to be, otherwise it would be blowing that way. And it's not. It's coming in from over there, which is more of an easterly wind. But that's all good. We're down here. We're going to go out and do it and see what happens. And we're going way over there. Way over there to fish back into the bay. Right, we are fishing into a wind it's coming pretty much from round there, more like a nor'easter. Nor'wester would be coming from over there, we would be sheltered here. But that's all good. This is where we're going to cast out. Look at all the seaweed here, Trebs. That's the seaweed. So it must have been pretty rough down here at one time. But we're going to give it a few casts out here, see how we go. And praise Jesus for a fish, eh? Now, the target species is actually snapper, but any edible fish will do. That's what I reckon anyway. As long as it's palatable for the puku. It's our first cast. Beautiful day in our lord out here today, that's for sure. That breeze is just as well, we've got a bit of a breeze that um, cools us down, eh? Keeps us a bit cool. Praise Jesus for fish! I was able to get a lot of snags out here too, so I bought a few extra sinkers and stuff. Quite a long way to walk around here. Beautiful down here. I know last time I was here I saw a seal. I don't think you've heard this time. The only thing fishing out here, Trebs, is snags, eh? And there's plenty of them. So I've got a ball sinker on today, not a breakaway. And uh, I've got 40 pound nylon trace, it's about, about yay long. <laughs> Probably a yard long or something, a bit more. And uh, I've got 70 pound braid. That's on that Tarvis Walker, that's the EA750. about this terrain mug, you don't wind in unless it's necessary, eh? I haven't seen any bites yet. There you go, 
I didn't have the Osmo on, the action camera, but that was a great big eel, I kid you not, mate, it must have been about this long. It was huge. Probably could have been good for a feed. But anyhow, Trevs, must have had some teeth or something, eh, because he uh, bit through the line, but that's all good. Catch all sorts of weird and wonderful things around here, eh? But we're going to cut a track anyway, eh? But hey, at least we caught something. And it certainly wasn't the target species, but it was, I don't know if you were classified as a fish or not. But anyhow, a great big eel. Alright, right, people, I'm going to pick this up and we're going to waddle on back to, um, back to the truck and head on home. Here we are back at the rolls can hardly. Nah, it runs alright eh, seriously. Um, depends whether you call it fruitful or not, I don't know. We didn't get any fish, but we did get that great big eel. Yeah, we could say it's been a fruitful day. We got that big eel, I probably would have taken it home for mum. We like eating eels. Not a bad day though, it was quite a good day to get out for a change. But cheers, is.